Adiba teaches us that some principles really are universal. And the most important one is the principle that we are bound together by a common humanity and that each individual has inherent dignity and worth. Now, it's surprising that we have to affirm this truth today. More than a quarter century after Madiba walked out of prison, I still have to stand here at a lecture and devote some time to saying that black people and white people and Asian people and Latin American people and women and men and, and, and gays and straights, that we are all human, that our differences are superficial, and that we should treat each other with care and respect. I would have thought we would have figured that out by now. I thought that basic notion was well established. But it turns out, as we're seeing in this recent drift into reactionary politics, that the struggle for basic justice is never truly finished. So we've got to constantly be on the lookout and fight for people who seek to elevate themselves by putting somebody else down. And by the way, we also have to actively resist, this is important, particularly in, in some countries in Africa, like my own, uh, father's homeland. I, 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 some, I've made this point before. We have to resist the notion that basic human rights like freedom to dissent or the right of, of women to fully participate in the society or, or the rights of minorities to equal treatment or the rights of uh, people not to be beat up and jailed because of their sexual orientation. We have to be careful not to say that somehow, well, that doesn't apply to us, that those are Western ideas rather than universal imperatives.